Good morning, Hyeniacs! Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't usually record my weekday videos on the weekend, such as Dark Souls, but we're not doing a regular episode today. In fact, let me say, if you've made it to this point of the game, congratulations! Now, there's been a lot of stuff I've kind of skipped over in this playthrough, um, particularly with this level, but it's all about to pay off. Because I'm about to show you guys something, just in this area alone, how you're going to average about, uh, let me think for a second, I think it's about 3,400 souls. We'll actually count as we go, but here we go. And then I'm going to show you some shortcuts and another area to get to that's going to help you with gaining a lot of souls. So first of all, we'll go kill the snake guard woman, because she's about 500. 500 souls, I believe. Let's see. Yep. And give me a second while I just turn up my volume. Because I was Netflixing earlier, so... Need to be able to hear. Alright, so we got 500 right off the bat. Now, what I like to do is I like to start by going down here, just because there's two guys each of them are worth about 500 and it's just easier to start this way because all the little all the other stuff I'm gonna show you is gonna be up top so got that one done now we just gotta get this guy alright so for just the first three enemies alone we got about 1500 because they were all 500 each and also this is going to be a great place to <clears throat> farm for uh, Titanite as well and a lot of times a lot of these enemies will drop some weapons and armor and stuff too so this is really just a good area to kind of get your feet wet and then you know just gain some souls for leveling up or honestly you're actually going to want to wait to level up for the next part that I'm going to show you here in a bit. But first, we will take care of this guy. Because he's worth 800. Aw, oh, shit. I fucked up. Come on, get up. There we go. And I can't get a backstab on him, but if you do a strong attack, it makes it a little bit easier. Shit. Woo! Top of the morning to you, buddy. Okay. Okay, he's not happy. I forgot to make him coffee. So he's just gonna have to go take a nap for a minute. More Titan Knight. Alright, now we start making our way up. Alright, but if you see this bridge we're coming up to here, right there at the broken end, if you're on along this side and jump as long as you're under I believe it's 25% of your carry limit you'll actually make that jump and then there is a merchant over there and down at the bottom uh, there's gonna be another little bridge going to a dead end with a, another lizard guard lady who's actually guarding a cell key which you're gonna need um, for something else I'm about to show you right after I finish this guy off Oh, fuck you. There we go. So that key, unless you have the master key, then you're good. But that key will open up these bars, which will activate a shortcut, which I'll show you guys in a moment, because we're going to need that to get to the next area for soul farming that I'm going to show you. Which, the next area is actually much, much better for soul farming. I mean, this is pretty good. When you get to the next one, you won't look back. Alright, so we'll kill this guy, because he's 600 souls. So, let's see. The last one was 500. The first three were 500, so that brings us up to 2,000. And then... Let's see, the giant iron guard was about 800 the archer was 600 so my math 
I, I can't do mental math right now. But either way, you can add that all up and figure it out. Um, so we're going to take this down. Uh, going to want to be on your guard a bit, though. Because it will lead us directly into danger, but at the same time, this is the first bridge you come on when you enter this, this area. So, that does make it a lot easier for... Oh, shit! Getting killed, um, if that's your aim. Okay. But, oh, fuck, this is not going as smoothly as it usually does, but... Okay. I'm alive! And I, you guys saw that the first cage went back up, but that's okay, because another one does drop down. There are two. So, let's just get out of this immediate area. And then, you guys remember that there's two guards in here, so we're going to run forth. And I might just kill them real quick, because that's another extra thousand souls between, you know, the two of them. So, go back to the first routine that I showed you guys in the last video. Oh, especially because they're charging at me at the same time. That that makes it a bit more convenient for getting both of them. I mean, granted, the one in back isn't going to take as much damage. Well, unless that happens. Okay. So basically, what you want to do before you even come over here is make sure that you have at least 20,000 souls. Let's see what's rest. Because there's an item you're going to need to purchase from the blacksmith down here, which is a certain crest slash key that's going to open up a magic glowing door that we saw earlier in the playthrough. It's where we joined that kitty cat covenant. Now, since I abandoned that covenant when I went down to the catacombs, all of those NPCs that you've seen down there are now going to be hostile towards me. And there's four of them. Uh, three of them are worth 2,000 souls apiece, and the last one is 1,000. So, that's about 7,000 souls. And the way I'm going to show you how to do it here makes it pretty damn easy to do. Even though each one of them can do heavy amounts of damage to me on their own, it's... it's... I can still cheese it. And you can still cheese it very easily as well as long as, you know, you pretty much do it the same way. Alright, now this guy's gonna pop up. There we go. So... Finish making our way over here. Because as you can see, I've already opened the door. I've already used this tactic a lot. Because I'm pretty sure in the last video, I was only at level 55, 56. Um, yeah, now I'm almost level 70. I'm at level 69. I almost don't want to level up any farther than that just because I like the number, because I'm 12, but uh, it's definitely going to be worth it. So, what you want to do is run along the left side here, just kind of swerve through these trees, because some of, some of these NPCs are a little bit, you know, with the way they're spread out, it's hard to get them all to chase you at once just by showing up, especially this guy, like, he doesn't even look at you until you're, like, right in front of his face. There's a ninja dude right there, so turn immediately to your left or to your right I mean after you pass the guy that's just standing there looking off into space slow down a bit make sure that they're all keeping up with you and just go right here now I know this this trick is already very well known but I figured I'd feature it anyway just in case people don't know about it and they'll basically just go off the cliff I mean sometimes you gotta run back because they'll get stuck in the trees or they'll just turn around for no reason but otherwise, I mean, if you just lure them back, it works out pretty swiftly. 
Alright. I think the mage finally ran out of magic, or he's just giving up. Yeah, as you can see, they're just kind of whatever. Fucking hobbits. They're just having that Lord of the Rings attitude right now. So, we just gotta aggro him again. Come on. Oh, don't want to get stuck. Do not want to get stuck. Oh, shit. Because that happens. So, <laughs> bad example, but it's okay. This time, I will succeed and we will recover. I promise. I think that's actually the first time. Actually, no, I, I can say for a fact. That is the first time that I've died running through there. So not my first time getting hit or even being near death doing this. Which is why, again, I emphasize being extremely cautious and also trying, you know, obviously running through in the specific uh, pattern that I showed you. It does work. Like, just run right there between the rock and the tree. Take the first right. Because otherwise, I mean, they'll basically be right on top of you. And it's not a good situation to be in. So, we will just wait it out. Let's see. Let the body sit the flow. There's one. Come on. Don't be scared. It's going to be alright. Two. See ya. They all just took flying lessons with the iron pop can. They'll make great hyenas someday. And now we just got this last guy here. Which, I mean, if there's one left, you can probably take him on your own. Which is what I'm about to do right now. Because to hell with it. I just want to get a back set. Whatever. Oh, did you just kick me? Well, I mean, I know he's been kicking me, but it actually succeeded, which annoys me. Whatever. Now, of course, I'm pretty sure if I go talk to the cat lady, this is going to piss her off. But you know what? I don't care. Alright, so just kind of a quick overview. I just want to make sure that, you know, I covered everything that I intended to. So I talked about getting the key uh, for those cells to activate that shortcut. Whoop. I showed you guys how to get your souls. Showed you the tips to get them. Um, I think that actually does it for all this. Uh, so, either way, high ADX, make sure to, you know, if you're waiting for the next real Dark Souls episode. It will be up on Monday. We will continue it. Um, otherwise, you know, I got my weekend programs coming up. I'll probably do uh, Resident Evil and Brutal Legend tomorrow just because, you know, today I got a different project going on, which I've talked about before, and that's, you know, another shout-out video. And the editing for that might take me a little bit longer than, you know, my usual programming. So... You know, basically, I just wanted to give you this bonus, give you guys some tips, and, you know, just kind of start working on that. So, either way, Hyeniacs, I love you guys, and I'll see you later.